Welcome back to Beyond Bourbon. Today we have another review yes. of a first time distillery on the channel. This is Kings County Distillery Empire Rye. So this is their, that's such a good quirk. I know, I just love that. <laughs> Empire Rye has like a big history to it and actually it has a documentary even on Prime, I think. Um, this bottle in particular is from Kings County and they've been doing some great stuff for a craft distillery. I don't know why I put craft quotation marks as the craft distillery. It's, it's I always like, craft. yeah, so it's a craft distillery. Uh, and actually in the back says New York City's oldest whiskey distillery. So cool. for, to have a history and still be a small, I love the bottle shape and label because it's different. It looks so good on a shelf. It looks like something out of Brooklyn. You know what I mean? It does, yeah, it, it does. It definitely looks like something just that would be on a shelf in New York. It is 80% New York rye, 20% UK malt, and Ooh. that's not University of Kentucky. <laughs> um, that sounds so good. Mm. Age two years or more, this is batch number seven. So right at the bat, you know, 102 proof, but it's that color. At two years At old? only two years old. That That's is just crazy. So Empire Rye is actually the whiskey style of New York State. And to be an Empire Rye, you have to use at least 75% rye grown in the state of New York. So this one definitely meets that criteria. Yep. For the 80% rye, I'm interested of why they went to UK for their malt. <laughs> Scotland is stem for the UK. So you, oh, that's true. So you get some good just scotch malt. Yeah, yeah. malt products. So I don't know. I'm really excited to try this. I like small barrel stuff. A lot of people don't. Uh, I think Jared's a fan of too. Yeah, I mean, if the, the product comes out good. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter yeah. to me, right? If you're going to be able to make a two-year product and this comes out really good, then props to you. Yeah, and I, I think small barrels offer a uniqueness to Fair a much. product. A lot of people don't like. I enjoy it because it's different. Like we, we've tried all of this stuff up here. This is all mainstream. Mm -hmm. At a point, it all is similar as yeah, well, very different. But like you know, it's all nothing weird. Together. Yeah, you know, we exactly. do we do a blind, and you kind of get confused on what you're drinking sometimes. This one probably, I'm assuming, would stand out. Like yeah, crazy, and that's something I appreciate. Maybe yeah. not better than some stuff, but it would stand out. Agreed. So let's get into this. I'm excited to try this. God, this smells so. It smells. Crazy, like it's just tons of smell, tons of flavor. Oh my gosh, 102 proof. And I mean, this is like hitting the back Ooh. of my nostrils. I cannot imagine a capturing version of this. I would, I'm happy that too much. this is proof down. Yeah, yeah. it might be too much. That smells, smells really good. So though. good, it smells so developed. And mm -hmm. again, harping on that two years, it's crazy for you know, usually you get grainy forward notes, kind of you know, yep, youthful notes. This is. It smells old. And to be an 80% rye product, you expect, you know, some of that greenness, mintiness, doesn't really come through here. It, it does a little, a in little. a sweet form, but not like that astringent not weird stuff that you get up from like 95.5 rye or other stuff like that. I mean, that color is gorgeous. Yeah, like it just, it got prettier in the glass. Like I just didn't expect it to stay that dark. I love a good color. No legs on that too. I mean, that's pretty impressive to be that slow. Yep. Like that, I'm really excited to try this because the nose is just keeps changing for me, and it's all—it's like a mystery. Like I'm trying to figure out what's going on. I gotta keep going back, and it's just like it keeps me entertained. Like it's like watching a movie trying to smell yes, this. Yes, I, I smell like that malt is pulling some weight. Mm-hmm. It is. I'm getting like a cereal, uh, like frosted flakes type. Mm, that's a great note. Some proofy cereal. Just mm -hmm. pouring bourbon into your cereals. Yeah, that might be an idea <laughs> for a video. <laughs> that seems like something that's like a warning would do. That's something we'll do after five or six years when we've used like every single thing. We're just like, okay, what happens if you mix <laughs> oh, rare good. breed rye with Cheerio? <laughs> Fruit loops and the flow trace. <laughs> they should make sounds pretty good. Collab? Collab. Dude, Kel that'd be crazy. Kellogg's? All right, let's give this a try. Cheers. It's a weak cheer. Okay, come on, Cindy. Cheers. <laughs> oh my gosh. Mm. The amount of flavor. The finish. I think we tried this one before. It has like a raisiny grapey note to it. It does. Like it tastes like a port or like a yes something like that. Like I was that, thinking. Oh my it, gosh. I was like, is this finishing some type of sherry or? That's port? what that tastes like. Holy mm -hmm. cow. Oh my gosh. I cannot get that out of my mind right now. The sherry that you said is like dead on. I mean, that is so How good. does it get so much sweetness? The back of it is just like raisin, like yogurt covered raisin. Yes. Is what that tastes like. Oh my goodness. There's so much good. sweetness there. I don't get it. There's no corn. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. There's no, no. corn. 
<laughs> oh gosh. Thank you so much Malik at Discount Tobacco and Liquor for providing this bottle. We are super excited to try it and as you can tell, we loved it throughout this very, video. Very good. Yeah, so definitely worth it. If you want 15% off, go make sure to go check out Discount Tobacco and Liquor, 717 North Broadway in Lexington, an awesome store with great barrel picks. Also right now, if you tell them that you're following us and that you follow us on two of our social medias, and tell them you know us, then you can get 15% off all Wild Turkey products. Which I don't have to tell you, we are huge Wild Turkey yep. fans. Rare Breed 101 are First, great, great budgets already. Great budgets. Let alone 15% 15 off. off. Yeah. That means you're gonna get this for under 50 bucks. Yeah. This for just penny, I mean, not pennies. Pennies. <laughs> pennies, basically. Basically. <laughs> A fantastic deal. Some of our favorite products that we got started in our bourbon journey with. So. We want to extend that to you guys. Yep. And even on top of that, if you do buy one of these and get that 15% off, you get put into a drawing to buy a blends, which everyone loves. A blends. Retail. Uh, re at retail. Not so 100 bucks. Not, it's going to be way cheaper than you're paying on secondary, so make sure that you get put into that drawing for this. You're not going to want to miss that or a great deal on these. So thank you again, Discount Tobacco and Liquor. Make sure you go check them out for all of your bourbon needs. I am excited to try more than now. They have a bourbon that is hazmat. Can you imagine? Dude, I need to get my hands on that. Kings County, if you're listening, <laughs> we'll take a sample. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I, I really think what they're doing there is awesome. Staying, to be New York's oldest distillery is super dope, first of all. Second of all, to still stay small and the Empire Rye started less than 10 years ago. So still changing the world of whiskey in general, not just for the state, but for the US, that's really cool. Like that's that, really cool. to start something like that is amazing and putting it back into the state. You're going to your local farmers, you're going to, uh, you're growing your local economy, all this stuff. That's just, it's awesome. Like that's really cool they're doing that. Um, so this, I mean, for $100, $110, it is expensive. Like that's, you know, a price that it's getting more common in the bourbon world, but still, Mm -hmm. Like that's, you can buy three or four bottles for that sometimes for a bottom shelf stuff. Yeah. I think it's worth it. It's worth it. There's nothing like this on the market, no. obviously. I, I have never tasted anything like it. It's a unique product that I'm so happy we have a bottle of. Mm -hmm. It's gonna, I mean, I mean, I'm gonna love sharing this with people, yes. comparing this to other products. And for again, two years, you might look at the label and say, oh, two years. You know, rye malt, that's not really my thing. I'm gonna pass on it. I'm telling you, if you're even a bourbon fan, there's something in this bottle for you. I would yep. never guess two years. I would never guess that it's just, it's so much sweeter than so any true. malt, malt so or true. rye product I've had. It doesn't have that spiciness that a rye has if you don't like that. Like, it is just a phenomenal product and it's worth trying 1,000%. Yeah, agreed. So, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to let us know if you've had Kings County in the comments down below. And if you have any more recommendations of whiskeys that are just different. You crazy I love you. Yes. Yes. That's I, we've been doing love. this for long enough. I'm just kind of tired of some of the traditional bourbons. <laughs> Give me some unique stuff, baby. Give me it all, baby. Cheers, we'll see you guys next week.